Hey guys, just wanted to kind of try something new here and uh, kind of finish up these practice problems on the Notes 3.1a uh, with my own video and hopefully that will help. I know some of you guys are having small issues, uh, maybe not with this, but with some other things we've covered, okay? So just want to go through these six problems real quick. Uh, and number one, we want to rearrange that. Uh, standard form will be negative 3x plus 7. Standard form just means going in descending order of uh, the exponents from largest to smallest, okay? Once it's in standard form, uh, you can tell the degree. This one's a first degree binomial. There's two terms, so it's a binomial. And the leading coefficient is negative three, okay? And number two, once we rearrange, uh, we get negative 18x to the 13th minus 3x to the fourth plus 5x cubed. That makes it three terms, so there's a 13th degree trinomial, okay? And the leading coefficient is negative 18, all right? And number three, uh, we rearrange that in standard form. It's the exact same polynomial as number four. It's just been written in the correct order now. Um, and you can see that for both of these, three and four, it's a third degree polynomial with a leading coefficient of negative four, okay? In problem four, it was already in standard form, so there was no reason to uh, rewrite that, okay? Moving on to number five. Um, <clears throat> it's already in standard form, so no, re no reason to uh, reorganize there makes it a fourth degree polynomial. There are five terms, okay? And, sorry, um, that makes it a polynomial. Anything more than three, we're gonna call polynomial and it's fourth degree, okay? Leading coefficient would be positive three. And six, we need to rewrite. Uh, so standard form is gonna be 99x to the eighth minus 45x to the fifth plus 19x cubed, okay? Three terms, so that's a trinomial of the eighth degree. And then we've got a leading coefficient of 19. Hope that helps. We'll do more of these later. Uh, take it easy.